So the first part of this is really just mindfulness of body. So we're placing our attention on the feeling of the body. The body's language is feeling. So we're developing some kind of loyalty to just living in this body, on this big earth planet body. That we're saying that there's some value to actually feeling these feet walking on the planet, the feet walking on the earth, the seat sitting down on the earth, that that in itself, that connection between those two bodies is an important one and has been for you know people since there have been people. So we could make a little simple drawing of that, which is to show you the practice. So if this is the earth body, earth body, this is our body. So in, in English, this is very convenient because this is a bee. <laughs> Let's say there's an, our body sitting on the earth body. And this person here is not only a body, of course, but also is a mind. And one of the things a mind does is think. It thinks. It remembers things that happened in the past, this morning, at lunch, when we were four years old. It, it, it remembers things. It thinks about the past. And likewise, it imagines the future. Future, of course, hasn't happened yet. But we think, oh, you know, maybe this, maybe that. We can think about something that could happen later today or 10 years from now. And likewise, the mind tends to make a chatter about the present. You know, it makes a running commentary of assumptions, judgments, opinions. I like this. I don't like that. What about this? Is this okay? It just chatters away oftentimes about its current experience. So when the person is very preoccupied with thinking and lots and lots of ideas, this can happen. Like, whoop, they, they become like a very big head with lots of thoughts and not much of a body here. And the body is disconnected from the earth body. So this is a happens right, to people, that they just get full of thoughts and ideas, and oftentimes they're talking about something. Here, I'll make this one talking. Talking about one thing or the other, and it just gets very disconnected from the belly and the feet and the lower body. So the practice here, just in case this has ever happened to you, this is a little practice for embodiment and a little bit more groundedness. And we're applying mindfulness, which means we notice that we're thinking. We notice that we have this idea. We notice this habit. Ideas are often habitual, right? A habitual pattern. We notice that. We notice, we notice, we notice. But right now, we're going to let that go and let our attention rest on the feeling of the body. Is that clear? When we notice we're thinking, here it is, you're thinking away, you're really just sitting here or walking down back to the hotel or something, but instead of actually feeling that we're actually walking to the hotel or sitting, the mind is like thinking about something else like this. It has a life of its own here. So when we notice that, or awareness notices that, the practice is Put it back on the body. And then, you know. Oh, stinky. Put it back on the body. This can be a part of the body. You feel your lower back. You feel the shoulders. Feel the muscles of the face, the hands. Feel the bottoms of the feet. Wherever there's sensation, we feel that. Is that clear? Okay, the body only does two things. One is it makes a shape. We have a lying down shape or a sitting shape. The body can be still. 
waiting, resting, more or less doing nothing. It's sitting, standing still. And it also can move. It gestures, it stretches, it locomotes from place to place, it gets something accomplished. It's moving. And as far as I can tell, those are your only options. It's either still, or it's moving, or it's still, or it's moving. So the content of the practice period, which will be about 10 minutes or something like that, is that you're going to alternate stillness and movement, and stillness and movement, and stillness and movement. And it doesn't matter what it is. The content doesn't make any difference. Do whatever you feel like. Do what the body feels like doing. The body's in this shape. It's not going to stay there all day. It'll feel like doing something else. Then just do that. Shift to that. So you're following, you're listening to what it is the body would like to do. What does it feel like doing? So that's completely different than what you think about it. Right? Thinking about the body is one thing. Feeling is another. Is that clear so far? Okay. It's a practice that everybody just does individually. There isn't any like um, interaction quality particularly. It's just a solo practice. Everybody does together. together. One of the supports for embodiment is to work with the eyes closed or downcast. So it just helps stay more in the body. You know, it's so interesting out here in the visual world. It helps stay particularly in the low back body. If you're not comfortable with your eyes closed, that's fine. Just face a wall, you know, face away from people. So you're not just looking at folks because that can make them uncomfortable if you're looking at them. So there's no need to add more self-consciousness than we've already got in the room. So whatever, whatever, you know, you just stay to yourself. If you're not comfortable, just look down. You know, if you don't want to close the eyes, that's fine. doesn't make any difference. Just stay in the body. Stay living there. Once you find a little space somewhere in the room, if you could start lying down, so we're going to do this just sort of developmentally, start lying down, really resting on the earth. You can move to some kind of sitting up if you want, and then standing, and then if you can move around a little bit, so it starts down close to the ground, and it grows up, and then it goes out a little. How you divide your 10 minutes is completely up to you. Just do whatever for that 10 minutes of Time. I'll tell you when about five minutes have gone by so that you know when half the time is over, and I'll tell you when it's to stop, and, and then you just stop. So the practice is becoming more and more grounded in the body, just taking that time to yourself to really hang out with yourself. Is that clear? Whatever you do is perfect, so you don't need to worry about the content at all. Just do what feels what you feel like doing.